everybody, I'm Alex, and I'm one of the science kids. Today we're going to be talking about one of the lobes of the human brain. Today we're going to be talking about the frontal lobe. The frontal lobe is one of the lobes of the human brain. It is responsible for emotion, judgment, behavior, problem solving, memory, just to name a few. The frontal lobe basically does everything. The rest of the brain is just there to process information. The frontal lobe is what makes that information valuable. The frontal lobe is located in the frontal lobe. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let's take a step back. How do we know that the frontal lobe is responsible for all these things? Well, there have been many studies that have been done that have shown that this is the case. But there's also another story that led us to think more and more that the frontal lobe is able to do so many of these things. This is the story of a man named Phineas Gage. Not that Phineas. Editor, whoever you are, you're fired. Okay, bye. Phineas Gage was a railroad worker. He was just doing his everyday normal business, you know, just doing his work, waiting to get home. <laughs> An iron rod was blown into his brain, specifically his frontal lobe. Nobody thought he would survive, but he did. It's crazy that he survived, but things changed. His personality changed, his memory was impaired, he got angrier more easily, he did different things. Scientists studied Phidias Gage and what happened to him, and this changed our thought on the human brain quite a bit. Our view on what gave us our personality drastically changed after Phineas Gage's story. After many other studies were conducted, scientists now agree that it is the brain, specifically the frontal lobe, that gives us our personality. So thank you and your frontal lobe for watching this video. Don't forget to check out our social media pages and our website. And as always, science is everywhere and in everything.